In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix Fortnite not launching on PC. It's a very simple method, so if you find this video helpful, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Now, there could be a few different reasons why Fortnite might not be launching on your PC. So the first thing you want to do is go to your Epic Games Launcher, since that's the only place you can get Fortnite on PC, and then go to find Fortnite. What you want to do is press these three little dots right here, Go over to manage and then what I want to do is verify my game files. It's basically going to take a few minutes, but it's going to go through all of your different files that are downloaded for the game itself. Check if there's anything corrupt or if there's anything missing. So that's the first thing you want to do. Now for launch options, you could go ahead and enable these. And there's a few different things you could try ahead and do. You could do minus DX11 like so, which is going to launch the game in DX11. Another thing you could go ahead and do if you want to run the game in performance mode, is and if you want to force it for example if you're not able to actually actually access your fortnite settings you could try minus d3 d11 which is going to do it in performance mode and if you want to skip the splash screen which uh you know can cause initial crashes or anything like that you could do dash no splash like so and then you could you know try that as well now another thing you could also do if you have to force vulcan it could be a gpu error is you could do dash Vulcan as well. So it's definitely worth trying these different things and seeing if any of those work. You can also do multiple together. So I can do like, you know, Vulcan and then DX11 at the same time, but do whichever ones and see which ones work for you. Another thing that you want to go ahead and do, if those don't work, those definitely should work. But if they don't work, what you could also go ahead and do is go to the bottom right here. And then I can just go ahead and right click and I'm going to see run. So click on that. It's going to open up this little thing here. Then I'm going to type in percentage local app data percentage. Like so, I'm going to see a lot of different folders here. All I want to do is find Fortnite game. And then I'm going to see saved from here. Go to config windows client. Once I'm in windows client, all I'm going to do is I want to go ahead and right click on game user settings. Go to show more options and then go to properties. Firstly, I want to make sure that it's not on read only. And then I want to go ahead and open it up. Once you open it up, it's going to look something like this right here. And then what I could do is I can change a few settings in here. So what I want to do where it says be ray tracing, make sure that is set to false. You can also change the display gamma, which, you know, can definitely help with some crashes. So 2.7 and then five zeros it has to specifically be five zeros after that should definitely help as well. Where it says energy saving enabled idle and focus loss, make sure these are both false as well. Also where you see resolution size X and Y, make sure that the last user confirmed resolution size matches the resolution size as well so that there's no error. So 1920 by 1080 is the best way to go ahead about that. The final thing I'd recommend doing is where you see scalability groups, set every value to zero or set every value to one, and which should basically downgrade everything. But then you can try and open the game up that way and then change your settings in game after you go ahead and do that. But after that, everything should work as normal. But if you found this video helpful, drop a like and subscribe and check out our other videos on the channel too.